Hello and welcome to another video uh, from Christine. That's me, Christine. It's craft and or coloring and crafts. Da, 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 da. Today I remembered my wrist support and um, I know like last night I was talking about how I was going to do the page from Coloring Bliss, but I got a completely different idea that I hope is uh, going to be a good one. Um, at Michael's, I got this watercolor kit, and this type of page was in that kit. Um, now, I practiced my watercoloring on it. It's awful. You already seen my acrylic, my first acrylic, and that was terrible. Well, the watercolor isn't any better. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me, um, I had made one copy of this because I wanted to make a picture for a friend, but I had already started on it, and I was using uh, Prismacolors. And so, I had a second copy that I was going to make too, just in case I messed up the first one. And it hasn't happened yet. Let's hope it doesn't happen at all. Anyway, um, I decided to make another copy. So now I have a copy of each. And I have already used the blues. And uh, I can say they are... I try to get colors as close as possible, but as you could tell from these, the colors are quite a bit different. Um, the dark value isn't that different. Um, it's the medium and the light values that are different. And I don't know. Um, tell me at, in the comments below if you guys were surprised by which brand was which. So the colors I used for the Star Joy picture... Um, and, and that's another thing. I swatched out everybody. I love the Star Joy color names. They, they've got a lot of different unique names and then a lot of common names, but I love the names. Um, and then I found out that their barrels, after holding them and using them and using the Castle Arts as well, the Star Joy barrel is a little bit smaller. Um, and I'll show you here. Let me put two of these away, pick up my light value. You can see the difference here in the barrel sizes. It's not a lot. Um, I didn't really notice the difference, and despite the fact that I did um, sharpen the Star Joys less often, I think just because there's more pigment in the uh, Castle Art Gold, uh, they ended up being a little bit taller. If you put them side by side, they end up being a little bit taller um, than the Star Joys. So I think your Castle Arts are going to last longer if you get those. But in the Star Joy collection, I used 37B uh, Blue Whale. I love that name. And then 35GB uh, Pacific Blue. And then um, 66J Blue Cotton. So, and, and that was kind of fun. These were all fun to swatch out, too. Um, they're both relatively even number of layers on the Spring Hill 80 pound paper. I could get six, seven layers. Um, each set when I was doing it and then um, for the Castle Arts gold I got 99 that's the middle card let's we'll start with the dark I got 43 CP ultramarine and then um, primary blue 98 GP and then uh, Cerulean Celerine Celerine the blue middle for <laughs> Uh, 099 GP. <laughs> and as you could tell, once again, I can't say the names of things very well. Uh, sometimes. I also found on these colors, one of these sets has a really beautiful light blue. I believe it, it will be the um, Star Joys that have the light blue color that is really, really nice. And sorry, I got to get the cat out of here. <laughs> She's trying to jump up. Anyway, um, just because of the nature of the sets, one is, you know, X color heavy and the other one's a another color heavy. And we'll go over the swatches here in a little bit um, after we do some testing with some of the colors. Um, some of them... I was only able to get two colors that could be kind of close, and some of them I got three colors that were pretty bang on. Um, so we'll naturally start with the greens here. Oh yeah, we gotta do the reveal. 
this one. Uh, now let me know if you're shocked because they both look really, really good, right? Um, so I don't think you're going to go wrong with either set. This one, Star Joy Gold. So that's the Star Joy Gold. And this one is Castle Arts Gold. So as you can see, they do really smooth. They they blend well. They co cover the page very well. They don't leave much white of the paper. And they also, um, they just go down really good. I would say I'd give the advantage, if I had to, I'd have to give the advantage to the Castle Arts Gold just because uh, they were a little bit more creamier. Not a lot, but a little bit, at least in the blues. So let's see what's in the greens. And yes, I have to look. <laughs> we're going to do the Star Joys first. And the Star Joys that I got for the greens is uh, Apple Green 27YG. And then uh, Spring Leaf 26YG. And then we've got Lori Green, which is 25YG. Um, now, some of the things I noticed on the Star, Gold, Star Joy Gold is the letters at the end. And it made me think that maybe it was standing for the colors, like YG would be a yellow green. Um, and then S would be a skin tone. R would be red. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm right about that because I can't figure out what J is. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, let's do something a little bit thicker. And I'm going to kind of do the same thing that I've been doing here. Make double sure that this is the Star Joy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll start with the darkest color, the Lori Green, at the top. Now, I'm not going for realism here. I'm just going for, you know, cutesy. You know, pretty blends and, you know, stuff like that. Pretty little blends. And they really don't take a very heavy hand. And it's usually just a couple layers does pretty good. You know, I noticed on this, these uh, two, three, fourth layer to wrap things up. A nice fourth layer. All right, and then we've got the spring leaf coming up here. And then we're going to go to the apple green. And they go down really nice, I think. And this will be layer number two. I'm trying to get closer to the line there. And of course, uh, some of the things I learned is as you're getting to your transition point, lift up off of your pencil, don't press as hard. And um, then the transition goes smoother. I'm still working on that. <laughs> because I am pretty heavy handed. And I'm gonna bring down the middle just a little bit more and then take my lightest value down a little bit more here. As you can see, pretty much the paper's already filled up really good with this. It lays down really good pigment. I'm really impressed. The greens are doing great. Honestly, I don't think you guys could go wrong with either of these sets um, but if you're looking for something that's more budget friendly and give you or give you more bang for your buck go for the star joys because you can get 120 of the star joys for the price of the 72 set of castle arts okay and then I'm gonna do something different because None of these colors are exactly right. <laughs> or they're, so a lot of them are close, but they're no cigar. You know what I mean? Oh, that's the Star Joys. So here we go. Boink! That's right. Don't mind me. Sometimes I am just not up to speed. All right. And then let's do Castle Arts. We're going to have Permanent Green, 110 GP, uh, Leaf Green Light, Uh, 61 GP and leaf green deep 169 GP. I believe one. I hope I do this right because I think I got them messed up. Oh, no, this is definitely the dark value. I can tell. Okay. It'll be the middle and the light values. Now, when I was testing them out on a separate sheet of paper, I got them all backwards. Like, oh no, these don't match at all. 
and of course not because you're really using the wrong ones but that's okay and then like I said um, as far as feel I would give the castle arts a little bit of the advantage like I said uh, just because they feel a bit creamier than the star joys um, another thing too while swatching and sharpening and I use my electric sharpener just to see how tough they were because they you know they use pencils usually do really good on in the doll it very rarely breaks any um, so I went full speed with the electric pencil sharpener and three of the castle art pencils did break um, in the sharpener but none broke in the star joy so really I think I got a good buy <laughs> on both because I mean it's only three on the castle arts it's not that bad and then look at how these colors just go down I didn't even really need this next layer I don't think but that is um, the green values and again this is on the Spring Hill 80 pound paper and for the Castle Arts, we have the Leaf Green Light, 61 GP, Permanent Green, 110 GP, and Leaf Green Deep, 169 GP. And then on the Star Joys, see, I just throw them anywhere. That's why I get them out of order. We have Apple Green, 27 YG, Spring Leaf, 26 YG, and then Lori Green, 25 YG. And we'll compare them here. They uh, they both look really good. Went down really smooth. They do have a little bit of sheen on them because that sometimes happens. I think they're advertised as oil-based, um, both sets. But I'm pretty confident that they aren't. I'll have to double check, though. But as you can see here, it did. I mean, that one's a little bit lighter, but, you know. The blues are different too, so <laughs> maybe once I finish this, this is what my friends will get. Hey, look, the finished products with my tester pages. <laughs> anyway, um, they look very similar. They went down really good. Uh, the greens feel good. Okay, let's do another. Did I get anybody else that was a three for? Um, no. So the next um, comparisons will be just two pencils, either a light value and a dark value or a medium value in a, in a dark value um, or medium value and a light value. Sorry. So we are going to do the pinks. All right. And hey, if I got to keep looking at it, then that means that these are very similar pencils. All right. So for the Star Joys, we're going to do 71 MP uh, locks. And 67 MP Sophia Pink. And then, of course, since it's only two values, I'll go down a little bit longer. And some of these colors in the Star Joy, I absolutely love. Not just their names, but when you lay them down, they're really pretty. I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Not that the Castle Arts don't have gorgeous colors, because let me tell you guys, they do. They are going to complement. If you've got other Castle Arts, those are going to complement your Castle Arts collection really well. Um, the Star Joys will also complement the other Star Joy set really well. Um, the only thing is, is that there are, quote unquote, some duplicates in the Star Joy. Let's see here. There we go. And then see how the, the transition just goes really smoothly. I mean, I love it. It looks good. And again, for the Star Joy Gold, that's 71 MP Locks. And then 67 MP uh, Sophia Pink. I love the names. <laughs> All right. And then we'll go over here and do one in the Castle Arts. Um, so we're going to have 186 Pink Bloom and 082 Azalea Pink in the Castle Arts. I can tell you too, um, I kind of like the way the Castle Arts feel in my hand a little bit better. Um, so if you have Carpal Tunnel like I do, you might enjoy the Castle Arts a little bit better. It would 
um, be worth the extra cost. And really just wait for a sale and they won't be that much extra. Extra! These colors are really pretty. I even like the two-tone. Oh man, these, I gotta tell you, I, I think the castle arts are worth the extra money because they are so smooth. Oh, they do leave a little bit of crumbs though. Um, and again, that's pink bloom, one, six, 186 GP, and then azalea pink, 082 uh, GP. And then before I brush it off, I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a few crumbs, not a lot. And that's from both sets too. All right, let's pick a new, back to the Star Joy set of colors. Let's do somebody in yellow. Who am I gonna do in yellow? Let's do this one over here. There we go. And then we'll get the Star Joys. And these took a, these took a long time to find. These and the oranges because there are, these, the oranges and the reds and the yellows were hardest because there are so few choices in the uh, Castle Arts. And for the reds, there are so few choices in the uh, Star Joys too. I was like really kind of disappointed. There's only like three or four real reds in there. Um, there's another one that you can that I would say is a super dark pink, but would do in a pinch as red too. Anyway, so for the yellows, we're gonna have Marigold 13Y0, and then not quite white. <laughs> 21Y. <laughs> Isn't that quite white? You always wrong. <laughs> anyway, back when I was a kid, um, I used to go around the neighborhood telling people that my mom was cooking snake because I couldn't pronounce the T. So instead of steak, it came out snake. <laughs> so... That was always great for my parents to have to explain to people. <laughs> Your mom's feeding you snake for dinner? Yeah, yeah, snake! <laughs> the funny things we do as children. That's okay. Um, one of my nieces used to call me Aunt Kiss instead of Aunt Chris because she couldn't get the R out, which I thought was adorable. Okay. And then... I had to have fun because my mom used used to have us go to church all the time, me and my sister, and I had a lot of fun because her favorite movie was Fox and the Hound. Can you all imagine what word she used instead of fox? <laughs> if you see K, tell her I want to see her. <laughs> and if y'all understand that, you was as old as I am. <laughs> so anyway, let's, let's go ahead and try a little bit more on here. These feel a little bit, they're not scratchy, but they feel maybe a little bit rougher, I would say, than the other colors. They're pretty. They're gorgeous colors. I don't think they're blending as well either. Not these two particular, but let's see here if we use a blender pencil. Where's Karen Dash here? Get the blue off of there. There we go. And then I'll just kind of blend it in. Okay, so either you may need more layers or just use a blender pencil or however you want to blend your colors. Um, that blended a lot better now that I pressed it into the tooth of the paper. Okay, and then for the Castle Arts Gold, we are going to use um, Golden Yellow, uh, 003 GP, and Naples Yellow Light. Uh, 073 GP. Okay. And these are definitely going to be a little bit lighter than um, the Star Joys, just for the simple fact that I just I couldn't find very good matches at all. I mean, the light, the light value matches really good. The Naples yellow light matches the not quite white really good. It was just 
the darker value. I just could not find two that matched well. So we're just going to have to go with what we got here. And this is almost like a pastel -y yellow, I think, on the Naples yellow. And this is going down a lot smoother than the Star Joys did. Okay. And it's blending pretty good, too. In fact, I need to bring this down because it keeps blending that up. There we go. Then, of course, you can see there's a little bit of crumbs. Just a little bit. Not much. The crumbs don't bother me, but if they bother you, then probably neither set is any good for you. So, um, that'll be the yellows. Now, let's go to something fun here. Let me get back to the Star Joys. I thought this was funny, and I don't know how close these colors are. I just thought it was funny. And you'll see what I mean by funny here in just a moment. So, for the Star Joys on brown... I picked 110cc sepia, and then I picked uh, 100s for terracotta. Like I said, see, they've got some really weird letters at the end. None of them make sense. Um, well, some of them make sense, but others I can't figure out. So here we go. We will just go ahead and do this. Looks like we're only going to do little pieces. I'll do two leaves on that. I think the colors look kind of similar, but I just wanted to kind of also point out something else, which I don't want to give away quite yet, but you'll see what I'm trying to point out here. Those look really nice. They're going down nice and buttery. These are the most buttery Star Joys I've used yet. I feel like I'm, I have to keep looking at it because I feel like I'm picking up the Castle Arts ones by mistake. <laughs> so here we go. And these guys blended beautifully. Just a beautiful blend there. So And, and then, of course, uh, this one I'll go ahead and repeat. Sepia 110cc and Terracotta 100s. Now, I would imagine at this point in the video, you could figure out what I'm trying to... Um, point out here. If not, it's coming on this next set. <laughs> so for the Castle Arts, I picked um, 159 GP Permanent Brown and 070 GP Sepia. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to point out here. Um, you can obviously tell that these were either made at different factories or or they're just different formulas or something like that because the sepia in the Castle Arts is a lot lighter than the sepia in the Star Joys. And the permanent brown, I thought, was kind of really pretty close to the Castle Arts sepia. <laughs> Look at that. This is Castle Arts sepia. <laughs> And oh my gosh, these are so buttery. I love it. So the brown in both collections is for the more budget-friendly sets. The closest you could get to a buttery feel as the Prisma colors. And these colors are just laying down. I mean, two layers, guys, and everything's full. And of course, that's just a small piece. So I'm sure if I'm doing a bigger piece, I'd have to lay down a couple more layers just because a bigger piece is going to... Obviously, leave some white of the paper here. But, um, yeah, I just thought that was very interesting. I mean, I know because I have a lot of sets of pencils that there are several one of sets that have, like, the same name color, but it would be an, a, almost a completely different color. Like, who, did I bring it out? I think I did. And then I didn't put them together here. Like Star Joy, or I guess I didn't. These guys are only going to be one of each. One orange and one red. But the Star Joys, um, and we will just color on the back of the page with the reds. Because <laughs> I don't want to use those since I don't have anybody that, that matches so much. Actually, you know what? Let me bring out 
my scrap paper and I'll show you instead of using these for the reds and the oranges. So, um, but anyway, I believe it was the Star Joys that has like the vintage Venetian red. And then like, I know there's a Venetian red and several other sets. There's, there's one in one of my Castle Arts sets, I'm sure. I think a Faber-Castell as well. And a couple other sets, and they're all completely different. I think there's one in one of my Derwent sets, too. So, okay. So, here's, um, in the Castle Arts is Red Ochre, uh, 015. And sorry I couldn't really find anybody that really matched to make a good, you know, selection on my picture. But, hey, we got my spare. And we can just kind of go back and forth here. Three... Four, five, six, I don't think, well, wait, 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 seven, and seven was it, okay, eight's not putting any more color down, okay, and that was the Castle Arts pencil, and then for the Star, Go Star Joy Gold, I picked Strawberry 40R. I'm going to get my cat here. <laughs> Darn her. She's as cute as a button, but she's just a little, little wacko. All right. So anyway, we got the strawberry uh, 4OR. And then that one's going to be one, two, three. It's not four as... Um, number five, it's not as vivid as the, the castle art and it's not as smooth either. Seven, however, eight layers can go down of the star joy. So that's the reds and they're pretty comparable. Let me get the crumbs off of here and hopefully my camera is zooming in on those colors. They're pretty close to each other, um, and they're they're very pretty. On that one, I'm going to give the advantage to the Castle Art because it was definitely a lot creamier. Oh, and let's do the orange. So for the Castle Arts, I'm going to have Marigold uh, 078 GP. We'll see if it does the same thing. One, two, three. Four. I love this color. Five, six, seven, eight. Still going. Nine, ten, and ten. So the Castle Arts orange, I was able to get ten layers down. And then for the Star Joy Golds, we're going to do 56J uh, Carrot Orange. I like the name. <laughs> All right. One. Two. And it really does look kind of like carrots. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, eight. So two layers less for the Star Joys. I was hoping to at least get a ninth one in there, but that wasn't working. And then there's the oranges. Very beautiful colors. Um, I'm not going to give the advantage to either one of them. Both of them felt really buttery smooth and, and very pretty. And then let's see here. And they're still pretty even because I've only like sharpened them once. Oh, those are Star Joys. Ha! Ah, both Star Joys here. Let's do the red and the red. There we go. <clears throat> so, okay. In this instance, the Castle Arts are a little bit shorter than the, the Star Joys. But like I said, in the blues, the Star Joys were shorter than the Castle Arts. So, anyway... I'm going to go back to those greens. <laughs> These are going to be super fun to put, 
put back into their spots because I got that book and it is there we go that's the castle arts too put those down and since it holds three pencils per little ring um, I put my light my medium and my dark value so these will be really fun to put together put back together in the uh, star joys so pretty and I haven't sharpened it yet I probably should have that's okay like I said we're doing fun we're not trying to do realism or anything like that it's just all in good fun now if I was trying to make a realistic looking coloring out of something then I, pr I definitely would have sharpened them again I like the way the greens look. They feel really good too. I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at those colors. They're so vibrant too, guys. I mean, they really, both sets make really good vibrant colors. Oh, I love it. And they are like typical artist grade where just the more you lay down, the brighter they get. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's do the greens and the castle arts again. And then after we finish this, I'm going to write on the back what the greens are or what the colors are that I put on there because I want to keep those to the leaves that I'm doing. I'm not going to do it on video, though. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> it's just when all is said is done. Said and done. That way I can keep track of them and I can go, I've got plenty of other whips or what we, what we call whips is a work in progress. I got plenty others of those to do. I love these. They're so smooth and they're getting so vibrant with every layer I put on. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at that guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Let me put these up here and then I'm going to get the ones that are on the table off because we're going to go through some swatches. I'll sort them out later. <laughs> so, all right, let's go get my swatch book. And luckily, since I was able to um, let's put this up here so I don't accidentally knock it over to get the castle art pencils to fit into my drawers, um, I was able to put all the sets together in the book, too. So that way I can just kind of, yeah, see, Venetian red. <clears throat> But this is the Castle Arts, um, the soft core pencils. And you can see a nice variety of colors. And then the golds. Just kind of complement it, I think. Here. Take this out for a minute. The golds just kind of complement it. Like that coral deep and that Venetian red in the gold is are pretty light versus the venetian red here although i bet if i <coughs> excuse me if i press down a little bit harder it would probably turn out about the same they're pretty close um but one is lighter than the other by just a small bit um and it's also pretty much got the same number this the normal castle arts has 021 for its number and this venetian red has 021 gp do we have a red ochre in here uh, we do not have a quarrel. Uh, we do not. So there are going to be some duplicates, quote unquote, 
I, I guess in both sets. I hadn't really compared them yet till like right now. All right, fallow green. I'm pretty sure I got a fallow green in here. And I would be wrong. There we go, fallow turquoise. And fallow turquoise here. Um, both are numbered 102. And they are pretty much both the same color. Let's get this over here. Fallow turquoise. Yeah, they're the same color. So, like I said, there's going to be some duplicates. But hey, that's especially when you're coloring leaves and stuff, never sneeze at duplicate greens. <laughs> I know there's a hooker's green in here. There it is. Hooker's green, 54. And Hooker's Green 54 GP. Okay. And they are the same color. Okay. So, no big deal. Let's see. What about the yellows? Okay, it's golden yellow. Deep. Okay. I'm like, man, these golden yellows are completely different. <laughs> Oh, there it is. It's just, it's the same as that one. So, okay, we've got some, definitely got some um, duplicates. What about the blues? I, there's got to be blues. Indigo light, indigo light, 45, 45. Yeah, they're the same color. And I'm really not disappointed. It's just like an extra set for me. Um, if you don't want duplicates, though, don't get either set because you're... Don't get both sets. Don't get like the soft core and the gold um, because you're going to have duplicates. Just get one or the other and go for the biggest set of either or. And then, okay, let's get over here to my Star Joys. They're in here somewhere. There they are. All right. So there's the Star Joy Golds, front and back, and I separated out the pastel colors, what I thought were pastel colors. The Royal Purple, not so much a pastel color. Oh well. <laughs> I can always redo the swatching another time. And then let's see if we can spot a number of duplicates in here. I bet you not in the reds, because man, that was terrible. All right. Well, this one says vintage vermilion, and then this is vermilion. So vintage is um, more like an orange, whereas vermilion here is more like a red. In fact, I would say either cadmium red or the vermilion would be close to the ladybug color. But see, there's not that many colors of red in the gold set. And I got the full, you know, 120 all right. So we got some close, but no cigars on that one. Here we go. Marigold and marigold. Different numbers and definitely different colors. Oh, here we go. Let's fold that in. So there's the marigold in the normal Star Joys and the marigold in the Star Joy Gold. It's definitely a, a bit more orange than um, the other marigold. So it has the same name, it just looks a lot different. So keep track of your pencils. <laughs> All right, do we have a Naples yellow? No, Naples yellow light. And then of course, like not quite white and Naples yellow light in the two different sets. They're pretty close, if you can see. I would say they're basically the same color. They just have different names, so. Might find some of that in your, your sets. Let's see. Greens have got to have some same names. There's got to be an apple green in here. That would be wrong. There's a hooker's green, though. Let's see here. There's a hooker's green in here. Uh, no. Well, then. So, I think the star joy will be more of... 
same name, different colors, or different name, very similar or same color. Like that pickle and that green plum look really close. Really super close. But it can still complement, You can, since there's more greens in this set, you can still find complementary colors to go. All right, let's see here. Pinks and purples. Look at the blues. These are going to be hard because they all got different names. <laughs> like deep ocean blue and cobalt look kind of similar. I'd say deep ocean's a bit, a little bit darker. It's kind of like a like cobalt blue light, and <laughs> which is funny because cobalt blue light's darker than cobalt. It looks like cobalt blue light and cobalt blue had a baby and named it deep ocean blue. <laughs> All right, now let's go over to here. Ultramarine violet and purple blue. Yeah. So I'm going to have to say this. the advantage is going to go to the Star Joys on the lack of duplicate colors. <laughs> Light ink blue and lilac heather look very similar. I would say light ink blue is... A bit more bluish. Um, lavender and wisteria are kind of close. But otherwise, it's pretty good. The pinks, I imagine some of them are going to look similar. Like grenadine looks really close to red rose, rose red pink. I'd say rose red pink is just slightly darker. Of course, Japur, if that's how you say it, pink, is close to rose, rose red pink, too, I think. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Like, I think Opera Rose and Vanity Pink are kind of close. And Sophia Pink and Grenadine Light are kind of close. But I think that the Star Joys... Um, not only are they going to give you more bang for your buck, they're going to give you um, fewer duplicates. Let's see here. Now we have two sepias. Let's see if they're the same. Not even close. This one's more closer to the Castle Arts one. <laughs> All right. So you could use, te theoretically, use two sepias out of the Star, Gold, Star Joy sets. And they would be completely different colors. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. That is just hilarious. But you can rest assured fewer duplicates. Uh, some will be like super close to the to each other. Um, and the Castle Arts are most likely going to have duplicates. Um, but I think the Castle Arts is set up to be all the same colors. I need to compare the pastel tints to the Star Joys, maybe in the next video. Um, but anyway, uh, questions, comments below. Uh, please hit that subscribe button if you like my channel. Heck, hit it anyway, even if you don't. Um, <laughs> and uh, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe, all that neat fun stuff. I would really love um, to have more subscribers and to have a bigger channel. And make sure that, you know, we come together as a community and keep sharing, you know, other people's channels too. Because the more we share, the better we're, we're all just going to get at our art and crafts. Um, probably here soon, I will do a bird toy video. So if you have friends who have parrots, um, here we go, let me turn the light off. If you have friends who have parrots, you know, or canaries or finches. Um, send them to my channel because I'm going to start doing some bird toy uh, tutorials. Those I uh, definitely am well versed in making bird toys. I've been doing it for years. Um, I'm just new at the coloring business. New-ish. You know, I mean, most of us colored when we were kids. Not all of us, but most of us did. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching my video today. And again, um, questions, comments, suggestions below. Um, feel free to, you know, send me some suggestions if you want to see some 
comparisons of other sets. Um, I'll have to make sure that I have that set because I'm not going to be buying pencils for a while. So, um, maybe go back to another video of mine where I had all of my pencil sets named so we can, um, or just, just shout them out below. Anyway, I'm going to get off of here or I'll talk you, talk your ears off all night long. And thank you again for watching my video. You all got it. I'll have a safe and fun day. Happy coloring and keep on coloring. Bye.